Hey everybody, welcome back to the next installment of Admin Tone Blog TV. For today's video, I'm going to walk you through installing Puppet Enterprise 2019 on Ubuntu Server 18.04.1. Uh, hopefully this won't take too long. Uh, it's got some new features. Uh, before if you install Puppet Enterprise, you had to install part of it with the console using an install script and the rest of it using a web interface. Uh, but now with 2019, it does it all from the console and then you're ready to go. So the first thing we have to do is, uh, oh, and there's a link down in the description to the full article that walks you through this step by step uh, in case you miss anything because I might go kind of fast in the video. Uh, so the first thing, Puppet signs all of their packages. So we're going to have to download the GPG key from them. So I'll download and import that and there it is. Uh, the next thing we have to do is add the universe repositories. So we will edit. Let's see, apt sources.list. And to do that, we're going to add the universe to the end of every line here. There we go. And we will save. And we'll do an apt up. And should go through and pull all of our packages that we'll need. The reason we need this is because during the install step, Puppet will set up its own repositories using that GPG key and it will try to install Postgres, which has a dependency that's in the universe repositories. So uh, now that we have all that up, um, one thing I have also done is used WinSCP here. I downloaded Puppet Enterprise on my local Windows system here and then copied it over to this guy. Uh, to this server that I'm working on right now. So now we have that file sitting in our home slash, well in this one it's a uh, bill. And you can see there's our file. So we need to make a little temp directory to put that into. And then we're gonna move that from up here to temp. Puppet. We're going to untar ball it. Oh, well, we got to change in the right directory first. That's usually helpful. Let's so create our puppet directory here. And we change into that puppet enterprise, whatever directory. So we have several files here. Let's go ahead and run Puppet Enterprise Installer. And it's going to ask us if we want to do text or graphical. Choose the default of text. And it's going to open up the, the uh, config file for the installation. And here really the only thing you have to add is the console admin password. And I'm just going to put this to anything. And you may see me actually highlight some of this. I'm going to be putting this into my article so we'll be able to see it in the article in addition to the video. Uh, so after you've updated your password there, we're going to hold ahead and save it. And it says it's going to, it asks you if it wants to proceed. And we're going to tell it yes, which is the default there. And this is going to go ahead and do its thing from this point on. It should go through and run Puppet after it downloads all the packages that it needs. And you should get a successful Puppet run. I will save you the agony of sitting here and watching all that. And we will uh, come back after it's done running Puppet. Okay, so that took about 15, 20 minutes, I think. Well, this is applied 939 seconds. Do the math. But uh, anyway, it's uh, good, everything installed, and you can see here, uh, if this is a monolithic configuration, which this is, 
uh, run puppet agent T to complete the setup of the system. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, hopefully in a later post we'll do a split install where we do uh, different cert different puppet enterprise components on different servers. Um, but hopefully we won't have to worry about that for a while because that can get pretty involved. So hopefully this run should not take very long. So apparently it's going to take a while. I'll go ahead and pause it and save you the misery of sitting here and watching it. So we can continue with it and have a nice short video. Okay, as you can see, Puppet has completed running. That only took about 106 seconds, so about what, a little more than three minutes. Uh, so now Puppet is up and running and we can verify that by going, opening a browser and browsing to our server go to HTTPS and normally you would have this in local DNS so it'd be like puppet dive whatever your domain is uh, this is a second server that I've done for this demonstration so I'm just gonna put in the IP address and we'll tell it yep it's okay and we'll put in our username of admin and the password we used in the earlier step so I think was super secret And there you go. Puppet Enterprise 2019 monolithic installation is completed on Ubuntu Server 18.04. Uh, so, hope that hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, be sure to click on subscribe button, which should be in the upper left corner, the green penguin. And uh, also check out some of my other videos. And again, there's a link to the full article, which gives all these steps in the text form. So. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next video.